Hello and welcome back to another episode of Placement Sundays. Today we have with us Pooja. Could you give us a small introduction about yourself? Sure thing. Uh, so hi everybody. I am Pooja and I'm a final year student at IGW. And uh, I'm very happy that I will be joining Polo All Networks very soon. In a few months, very really excited to start my corporate journey there as well. And uh, I work with the web. I work with machine learning, and I love making bots. So that's something about me in tech. And yeah, I head a lot of communities because I feel community work is something that has been there since like the beginning. And I enjoy telling about um, my journey and about my learnings to my juniors and to everybody around me as well. Could you guide us through your journey of being a software developer at Palo Alto Networks? Sure. I think uh, that's like probably the most interesting thing that has happened to me, in, you know, this year. Uh, so essentially, um, the on-campus placement started, and uh, you know, Palo Alto Networks came in. Um, this was the first time that the company, the company was came on campus. And uh, um, like one of my dear friends now, um, I she she has been in the information technology branch since the beginning, but I couldn't get a chance to talk to her. Her name is Nandini Punija. So she's a peer head of like the NPSL, but uh, she is also she was also the POC of this company because um, uh, essentially no POC was assigned. So as a peer head, she took up this responsibility because this company is also very close to our beloved training placement officer, just <laughs> ma'am. Uh, so basically, what was what happened was that uh, she brought this company, and I was like, okay, what what does this company do? And she told me a little about it, but then I was like, okay, let's like wait for the um, pre placement talk that happens, right? So when the pre placement talk happened, um, their um, engineering director uh, was there, who was basically telling about what Paul Alternate Books has been doing, and I could. Um, the way he was like talking and the way he was telling about his company, so passionate about it. I said that, okay, maybe this is where I want to go. And uh, I was the only person like in the entire call who had my camera turned on oh. because I was so uh, into that um, into that company that, and the fact that it's like the world, one of the world's leading cybersecurity companies. So I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe this is something that uh, might be the start of my career here. And uh, then they told that they have received so many Gartner awards. I I can't I don't even remember the name of mm-hmm. them because there were so many of them. But uh, one of the notable things that they told um, you know was that uh, so Microsoft's VPN that is used um, okay. that that's for all those uh, products. Oh. So that was a very interesting thing that you know, I mean so big yeah. tech is using a product of uh, such a company. Well, where, Microsoft sab apna khud hi banata. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean yes, but obviously like you know when when you're a big tech then you have to outsource some things to enhance the efficiency of it. Yes. yes. So that was it, and then um, I so. That then I talked to one of my seniors. So mm-hmm. um, she was like six six years back in our university, basically. Okay. So I think on campus she got a placement in SAP, but then she joined Palo Alto as a senior developer. So I found her on LinkedIn and I talked to her. Her name is Jyoti V, and she very kindly told mm-hmm. me about like the company and she said that uh, if you want MNC ka job security mm-hmm. and startup ki growth. Then no, no, you no, come no. to Palo Alto Networks. Ah, what a combination! Okay, <laughs> I'm sold. So then um, I checked out like the previous interview experience, but I couldn't find any because um, the company is like fairly new in yes. India. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll prepare what I have prepared and what my mm-hmm. mentors have like asked me to. I'll prepare data structures. I'll prepare my core subjects well, mm-hmm. and I'll go with the mindset that I will do it. And then that day just came in, and my first interview um, was with um, a team manager. Mm-hmm. And he was so working, yeah. uh, the first part was an interview, or bef- uh, before that there was a oh, test. Oh yeah, there the, there was an online test. So okay. um, the online test basically comprised of two parts. Mm-hmm. One was the coding challenge where mm-hmm. we had to solve two questions. Okay. And one was the um, aptitude test. Mm-hmm. So basically, both of the two tests happened simultaneously, one after the other, and okay. with a five-minute interval break, as far as I could I can remember. Mm-hmm. So um, in the aptitude, like I topped. I, oh, yeah, great! I, mean, I, I was, I was the worst <laughs> position. No, I remember this because even I was giving the exam, so your name was on the top. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> because the scoreboard just after the uh, exact test exactly. finished, and then um, for the second in second um, thing, mm. the uh, I think I, I was able to solve both the questions. <coughs> yeah, I, I was able to solve both the questions. 
and then the final like results came in and they they shortlisted some of the students mm-hmm. who were um, going to select for the interview and i was very happy that i got it <laughs> so yeah i mean that was one thing then the interview schedule uh, interview was scheduled and uh, my first interview uh, as i was saying was with the um, the engineering lead of team lead okay. and uh, he was basically working on polos um, security product for sd vans Okay, and um, then uh, he 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 was like very jolly about it. Uh, it was a thirty-minute interview. Mm-hmm. That, that it's great was, how you remember each and every detail. Because they um, the interviewers left such an imprint on my mind. Mm-hmm. I I cannot forget it. Like no matter how hard I try to do that, and then he um, was such a like sweet person. He said that I'm I'm not I'm not been in touch with the academic. Um, friends in so long so mm-hmm. you tell me that what have you what what have you been taught in like the university have you been taught networking cyber security shell mm-hmm. scripting or what so i told him that uh, we have been taught networking and shell scripting i, I learned shell scripting on my own as well but there was a little bit of it in, in our operating systems course okay so um then is the cyber security is something that we will study in the following semesters but it has not been yet been not us so he said okay fine then i'll not judge you on the cyber security front i'll mm-hmm. only judge you on what you know and that really did me and because i was um i was very intrigued with the fact that um they actually assessing me on my abilities they were assessing my strong points and if like a company respects that that um, they respect what you bring to the table that is very um, that is a very good sign for me in particular Yes, it is. Sure. Yeah. So the interview went really well. He asked me questions around um, mm-hmm. computer networking, shell scripting, like I told, and um, there was also one data structures question. And uh, yeah, then he said the coding question. Yes, the, the okay. coding question. So um, they it, they did not have their own um, system where mm-hmm. I had to code. He just said whatever compiler you are comfortable in. Okay. In this after so he gave you a question and you uh, yeah exactly. So okay. I I was supposed to solve that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then like the interview went. So this on. happened uh, within thirty minutes. Yes, thirty minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The the energy of the interviewer matched mine. Like you see how fast I talk. Right. This is uh, this is mainly because like, I was uh, a debater back in school. All uh, uh, people I have met from Microsoft and Palo Alto, they talk very fast. Even Bani, yeah. she talks very fast. She completed three interviews in thirty minutes. Yeah, exactly. And the major reason why is that because uh, when you're a debater, no, mm-hmm. so you get three minutes or five minutes to tell everything you can because you have to prove your point there. And since then, that uh, habit has been inculcated. So, yeah. But yes, so first interview happened, and then like some students were shortlisted, and then um, so I personally thought that my interview went like really good. Maybe they did not take me. That is why it was so easy that mm-hmm. they're like, okay, fine. And the other people's interview went like in a in a different manner. So that okay, yeah, that was one thing that I noticed about it was everybody was having different interviews according to the profile mm-hmm. that they had. Yeah. And and they studied your profile before interviewing. Exactly. This is exactly. what I heard so, about Palo. Yeah, they they did not um mm. uh, follow one structure. Yeah. Somebody had completely on the you know um computer panna. You know, mm. Somebody had completely on data structures, and others were based on projects. So it was very um. I mean the interviewer did the research. अन्य बहुत कम होता है कि आपका interviewer आपको study करके आए वरना पूछते हैं अच्छा बताइए क्या है. हाँ या they they ask what is the prod, right? So that was a very good thing about this. Then in the next interview, um, I was being um, I was being interviewed by. So this is um, second round, the HR round or normal interview? No, no, no. there were two technical rounds and okay. one HR. Round. Okay. So for the second uh, um, round, I was uh, I met with. a quality insurance engineer he was like uh, in the testing space for the for 20 years oh. and that person was the earlier person was also there for 18 19 years in the software development space and i was um, very happy that somebody of that experience is like interviewing me i was just a fresher right so this, the second interview um he basically asked me uh, as more my projects first mm-hmm. i like um, demoed the projects and everything he said okay yeah, that's fine the, he asked me if i knew computer networking mm-hmm. i said yes that is like one of my strong suits so uh, then uh, it was a rapid fire discussion that happened then you know he threw um, i think eight nine questions at me he was throwing the question was giving me answer then a question then an answer so very fun stuff there and then um he gave me a question 
Now the question, like this is probably the best um, <laughs> form of question that I have received, like in an interview, tech coding question. Mm-hmm. So he asked me what unsigned is. Okay. okay, that's a very basic thing, mm-hmm. right? So I explained it to him, and then he um, he was giving me instructions. He did not give me a question. Okay. He was giving me step by step instructions. Mm-hmm. He was telling me now I want this to be done, mm-hmm. and I was supposed to write code fit. Okay. So now I want this to be done, mm-hmm. and with those instructions. he finally led me um into printing the ip addresses like from hexadecimal oh. value to the list of entire itv4 addresses right and towards the end i actually asked him that mm-hmm. were you trying to teach me how to do that mm-hmm. and he, he said i don't know how you picked that up but yes that was what i was trying to do <laughs> so he was a very um intrigued by the, by the fact and um i was like i think this is the first interview where i'm learning something Like mm. the interviews and to teach me something. So again, that was a very good thing. A Then, good interviewer makes your life so much better. Yeah, and uh, actually that day I was very sick also. Mm. So like before my second interview, I was puking. So <laughs> I felt very at ease that you know this this thing happened. Then um, two interviews went really well. I was expecting a third interview, the mm-hmm. HR interview. And the HR interview was also um, done. So for the HR interview, another manager was there. And he basically asked me to give my introduction. You know why am I choosing Palo Alto over other companies? Right? Mm-hmm. So Palo Alto is a core networking hub. So basically, he asked me why I'm choosing this instead of the big tech that you know mm-hmm. your friends might go. Mm-hmm. So I explained it to him that you know this is where I want to start my career because of the fact that um, my two interviews mm-hmm. and the pre-placement job. So that really um, felt like home. Like, you know, um, I am a, an enthusiastic, bubbly, and person, chirpy, everything mm-hmm. around. I am. This is only because of you that I am sitting here without springs. <laughs> Except that I would definitely be jumping. Around. So yeah, uh, that that is it. And um, so he said that okay, fine. And I, I think I should. I will inform the university that you are joining us. Hmm. And now, uh, oh, he told you straight away. Yeah, yeah, he told me that because I, I think that um, maybe they did not need anything more because he also asked about my projects. Okay. So uh, yeah, and then he, um, and then he told me about Palo Alto, and hmm. he said that uh, if you, um, if you ever decide to like switch companies also. Then, if you have Palo Alto in your resume, um, then any networking, any security role, you'll get like that. Mm. And I said that I'm coming here to stay. Mm. <laughs> But thank you so much for like letting me know about the stature of the company that holds in the market. And yeah, I think the interview experience was extremely amazing. The HR um, who was like cooperating with us, um, I mean, who was in connection with the, the university, she is also very cooperative. And um, handled all of the requests of the uh, FTs, the final ones who were selected mm-hmm. very easily, and you know responding quickly and stuff like that. And yes, Nandini was helping so much <laughs> because I was in tears that you know maybe I might not be able to you know get into a good company and everything, but she um, was definitely like helping me throughout the entire process and also bringing my doubts to the HR without. Telling me to shut up. A good friend so, is very, very, very important yeah. in the placement. Time. Exactly. Yeah. And the fact that she was the um, coordinator, I think that <laughs> came as a lucky job. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, in five simple steps, how uh, should one ace coding? Hmm. The coding round, basically. Right. Um, I don't think there are five steps. Okay. There are I more. I think there is one. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Because. Um, <laughs> To a coding, you need to be crazy about it. And when I say that you need to be crazy about it, when some person is crazy about something, let me like give you an, a very informal example. Um, you are crazy about your boyfriend or your girlfriend, right? What do you do? You think about them the entire day. You want to do stuff with them. You want to spend time with them. Now let's draw that analogy to coding. Beautiful example. You are crazy about coding. Think about coding all day. Do something about coding. Go to Lead Code and smash all those questions hmm. and spend time there. 
spend time going back to your notes. Just you spend time reading all those uh, messages yes. again and again, right? <laughs> I know what to think about them. Exactly. Like, oh my God, let's say that. Exactly. I was overthinking like before. <laughs> like, I did. Yeah. So when you when you do that, you can also fall in love with coding. And I'm telling you, um, once you understand uh, that coding is nothing more than just puzzles. Oh. And what is the puzzles? So yeah, you just have to get that one push. Like initially, you'll feel like I just want to leave it because it's too hard for me. But once you get the hang of it, are you know, easy shit. Then you just like yes. go. And how did you start coding? Like, uh, did you have uh, computer science in eleven, ten, twelve? Uh, I did, as a matter of fact, but I won't say that school coding is anywhere linked to college mm-hmm. coding because uh, there we were only learning about the basics, like you know, it, uh, not even basics, it's just like input output and just some basic programs and um, file handling and uh, data. If I say data structures, I think the only thing that we learned was linked lists, which, which I didn't understand. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, in college, I restarted mm-hmm. again. Um, and what's your language? The core C++. language? C++. Yeah. Okay. So I, I was comfortable with this since like I, I mm-hmm. knew it from the beginning. So I was like, I don't have to redo it. Really. I think I can directly jump on to read yeah. structures. But um, I did have to redo pointers. Because mm-hmm. um, I thought that I knew them. Mm-hmm. But when I was solving questions, I was getting confused. So I read it. So the one taught in 11th and 12th was very basic and very simple. Exactly. And it was just like the, the book reading was done mm-hmm. in class. Yeah. So that that, that is not how we course. did it here in college. Yes. Uh, what resources did you follow for coding? Any um, course in particular? Yes, I did take coding in this course mm-hmm. in the beginning. Um, but then uh, I just like the full course of DSL. Yes, the, the okay. data structures. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I still thought that like a little was left because mm-hmm. I was not able to. Um, I think the questions I was able to do, but then when I saw a new question, then that was like a little problematic. Okay. So um, a very good friend of mine, Nisha suggested that uh, you join Pep Coding. Hmm. So I took their level up course, which was taught by the. But Pep Coding uh, is only specific to Java, right? Uh, am I wrong about that? Um. So Rajesh, how he used to teach was he used to teach both in Java and C. Oh. So he uh, like did it like simultaneously and. Um, that was a very good thing about him. He's, he's an amazing teacher. Mm-hmm. So level up was a three months course. Um, I did it um, after my second year, basically. Okay. So before my second year, I was doing that coding as well course. But so you started your journey of coding around in mid of first year. I um, in data structures in particular, like solving all these lead code lead code questions. Code questions. Okay. But in from first year, I was doing that. Okay. So my major primary thing mm-hmm. is development. So since mm-hmm. first year I was doing that, but then I realized that um, my the products that I was building they were not very optimal, mm-hmm. and I because I was <laughs> I'm very embarrassed to even say this, but um, everything was like a separate variable, mm-hmm. and you know it was such a bad code <laughs> that I had been writing without any uh, using any data structures. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Then when I understood data structures, read few books, blocking algorithms is the one that opened my eyes, and uh, then I realized okay, fine, that I. I so books do help in coding. Um, blocking algorithm is not a book. I would say like it's okay. uh, it's more of a light read. Oh. Um, it it has very nice pictures, very nice analogies, and so it's the first coding book that has pictures in it. By the way, <laughs> take note of that. So yeah, that. Okay, and uh, how did you prepare for the interview round? Uh, you mentioned it earlier, but uh, if you could just give us just okay. Um, so I knew it was a core networking company, hmm. so uh, I was expecting questions around networking. Hmm. So I uh, went to interview bit. Okay. And, uh, that uh, from there I prepared hmm. for um, the networking questions that are generally asked in like companies. Okay. And uh, mm, then I had my networking notes also. Like hmm. that those I made in class. I um, referred to gate smashes when I had that subject. Okay. So I referred to those notes as well. Brush them up once again because hmm. the networking is like a very uh, huge subject. Trust. Very theoretical, very huge. So you you need to keep brushing up or else hmm. you forget the terminologies in it. Yeah. So that I prepared. I was very well prepared with data structures, so mm. I knew that's not going to be a problem. Mm. And before that, I um, took mock interviews also. Mm. I asked my friends only to take my mock interviews because um, paying for that would be like a little 
mm-hmm. was a little hard for me when you have friends was, take full uh, you know humans. that is there but um, at that time like i was not in a condition oh, okay. to you know, pay because i don't take money from my mm-hmm. parents oh, so uh, great yeah i do and that is why i was just like okay i, I don't have mm-hmm. it right now so let's not do it so i requested my friends if they're available and they took my mock interview so Uh, so after the interview gets over, you get a chance to ask the question, ask some questions to the interviewer. Yeah. So what did you ask in particular that was very enlightening for the interviewer? Okay. Um. So for the first, uh, first part. So when he introduced himself, he he said that he was working with the um, in the SD one division. Hmm. So I was intrigued about what that division was. So I asked about that, and then like uh, so, Paul to basically visited for three roles. one was the software development role one was the quality assurance engineer role and the third one was the devops engineer role. Hmm. so i had applied for all three positions because hmm. we had to like choose um, our, our priorities, priorities. Right? so i had applied for all three and in my second interview i basically asked about what like a software tester does hmm. so essentially like um, he was telling me about that and automation so he, hmm. he basically told a lot about like how it is done in companies and how you can actually become the best um tester in the software industry also and for the third question uh third interview i'm not sure what i asked um but i think it was a like like a non technical question only about okay. um i i really don't remember the no, third one but for for the first two um i did ask those questions okay and how did you reveal about your placement to your parents and the friends and what was their reaction Oh okay. So I think the first person that I called was Nandini. Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like, "Bro, oh, yeah." So she said, "Dude, I'm so happy for you." And yeah, and then to my parents. Um so like my grandma was like, uh you know, that's very um she she gave all the blessings and everything. Kartero, <laughs> Kartero. And my dad first question we asked was location. <laughs> Because, you know, I I've been like really close in my family, so they don't want me to want me to go away. Get the bus. He is there. So he was more happy for the location than the actual offer. Yeah. So that was it. And um, my mom made gajar ka halwa for oh, me. Wow. So that was her way of saying. <laughs> you made me. Which time to gajar mil rahe the? She can find anything in the entire world if it's for me. <laughs> so she was like that. And do you have siblings? I do uh-huh. have a brother. Uh huh. And he said he fortunate will have. That's a. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> so yeah, and my friends. Um. So the ones who were actually like helping me through the process, helping me prepare. Um. I told them, and they were like, "Ha, आपका नहीं होना था किसका होना था?" नहीं ये तो है. आपका नहीं होना था. सच में किसका होना था? No, I mean that. That's thank you so much for it. But yeah, like one of my friends, he um, I call him like a sorcerer now hmm. because he predicted in the second in- before the second interview oh, that wow. you'll get the stuff. Wow. What was your best memory and worst memory about this placement series? I think the best memory was that I made my parents proud because uh, like my father was not talking to me before this <laughs> thing because like we had a disagreement about something, so it had been one week and we. And because of this interview, he gave me tips also mm-hmm. that you act like this, act like that, and some will go, some will go, and you know that. So when my father blesses me for something, it happens. So I call it luck or whatever, but yes, that is that. Uh, the worst memory was that. Um, so I have a group of three friends. Mm-hmm. It's me, Nishtha, and Vidya. And our third person was not placed. Oh, at that point of time, exactly. Okay. And she was also interviewing for the same company, but she didn't get selected for it. And that was the worst part. That I couldn't take both of them out and cut cakes and everything. So I, I, we had postponed it. Like hmm. I mean, जब तक उसका placement नहीं होगा, नहीं करेंगे उस. So yeah, I think that was probably the worst thing about the placement season. That she took a little time mm-hmm. to find the right company for her, but she did. So. that is hello touch on great see you bad thank you so much so hello guys i'm sonia verma and i'm a final year student at igdtw and i'm from csa department and i interned at bnm melon and this year i got pp at bnm melon